Tata Martino then making headlines for his post-game comments after Mexico lost 3-2 against Colombia on Saturday. Joining us for more, Mauricio Pedrosa Mao. Welcome back to the show. Great as always to have you. Glad to be here, guys. Okay, so real quick, let's recap kind of what uh, Tata Martino said there for those who weren't uh, following along in the subtitles. He talked about Mexican soccer being peculiar. He complained about Mexican players not leaving the domestic league. He talked about the league not maybe being in service of the national team. And he, of course, talked about uh, Mexican football's many past frustrations. Uh, it didn't have much to do with the game. Mao, is it time for Tata Martino to get lost for his post-match comments? I mean, would the real Tata Martino please stand up, right? Where was this guy a year ago, a year and a half, two years ago? This is no news for everyone who has been involved in Mexican soccer in recent history. There's no news whatsoever. This is exactly how Mexican soccer operates. And now to the final part of his statement where, where he's complaining that the league doesn't do any favors to the Mexican national team, I want to ask Gerardo Martino, what league around the world is focused around their national team and not their own business? That's not the way it works. So I think he should completely get lost. Now, going back to the first part of his statement, mm -hmm. I think there's a lot that we can actually talk about, but I will focus on just this one thing. Gerardo Martino is the Mexican national team manager so that the team, the individuals, the players progress do better, improve as a team. So if Colombia, in the span of 15 minutes, is going to turn the game around, there's a portion of blame for the players, but there's an also a big part of the blame for the manager, Gerardo Martino. And I didn't hear him also criticizing himself because obviously he was not going to do it. He should get lost. Ooh. Oh, you came feisty today. Yeah, man. it's been a while since I've been here, so yeah, I have things to say. Uh, to your question, uh, it's also the responsibility of the league because each ownership group has a say in how the national team is run, much like the FA in England. So, yes, uh, and also, did he lie? Did he no, say no, no, no. anything that was... No, no, he didn't. He didn't. So there's some validity there. But you know where it doesn't count? That's not why they lost to Colombia. That's not why Mexico has been struggling in this window. That's not why... And you gave him 15 minutes. I would have said seven, eight minutes. They turned <laughs> that game around in the first half. We joked about it before it went on air, which is the Colombia legends. Yeah. <laughs> Falcao and James Rodriguez is pretty much their going away uh, party, if you will. Listen. This is vintage right now. Tata Martino going at the press and what we've seen since Gerardo Torado's dismissal. He is on a mission. He is two seconds away from going nuclear and airing out all the dirty laundry come Qatar. Look, what he says, I don't think maybe he could get lost for, but the timing of it, absolutely. This is something that you say, as you mentioned now, a year ago, a year and a half ago, or even when you took the job. These are kind of day one issues that he's talking about that he should have been complaining about two, three years ago as part of this buildup. Not now. Not now 50 days until the World Cup. We talk about him being already one foot out the door. Uh, I think he's already one foot of them going out in the group phase. Like, he already sounds like a guy who's not just half gone but very much half defeated. Yeah. Uh, this does not, to me, sound like a guy who's inspiring confidence either in his group, in terms of the technical staff, mm -hmm. the team, and obviously not with the fan base or anybody else that watches this team. The other reason that I hate the timing of this, Mal, and I just want to get your perspective here, because I, I know Herc is just waiting for the L3 crash and burn uh, at the World Cup, but for maybe who's somebody, for somebody who wants to see maybe Mexico succeed, yeah. this kind of covers up what were 45 very good minutes and the best minutes we've seen mm -hmm. from Mexico since pre-pandemic. Now, there are other teams that we've already talked about in this show, like the U.S., that didn't even get 45 good minutes. Should there be some optimism, at least, for Mexico fans based on what they saw against Colombia in that first half? I think there should be some optimism by the fans, right? By those who want to see the team do well. But at the same time, you wonder, is this because of great decisions by Gerardo Martino? Or is it because the players are good enough that in a good day, they will give you good 45 minutes? Not because of what has happened uh, inside of the Mexican national team, just because they are good enough players that given a good situation, they can perform really well. Now, the question is, why can you sustain the next 45 minutes to this level? And, and, and Gerardo Martino in that very same press conference said, 
There's no team in this world that can play for 90 minutes like we did for 45. And he's right. The problem is we haven't seen this in a long time. I think if you were checking social media during the game, I think the, 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 the common comment was, it's been a while. It's been mm -hmm. a long time. Yes. Where has this been team? Where has this team been in the past two years? So unfortunately, it feels like this was the exception to the rule. Can I give okay. you a can I give you a quick just parallel between the two coaches on the two main national teams that are two mm -hmm. front runners, you will, if you will, historically in this region? It's Tata Martino starts off well, doesn't make in-game adjustments. He is terrible at that. Greg Berhalter starts off terribly. <laughs> makes good in-game adjustments. It's crazy to see the parallels between these two teams. Okay, so if you put them together, if you Frankenstein it, we might have a, a great manager there at the, uh, at the international level. Manager. All right, let's get...